Now for more on the eruption, we have live team coverage from the Big Island. We begin with KITV4's Big Island Bureau Chief Jeremy Lee standing by right now live inside Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. So Jeremy, what are you seeing out there tonight? Well, if you look over my shoulder, you could see the gas emissions coming from Hale Ma'o Ma'o. And with that comes some hazards. So we're here with Jessica Farrakane of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. And she's going to tell us a little bit about what we're seeing right behind me right here. And uh, Jessica, what can you tell us about gas emissions and the, and the danger that they pose? Well, you can see the large plume of gas and ash and steam coming out of the volcano behind me. SO2 is one of the primary components of that gas cloud. That's very dangerous for people. It can be fatal. Um, right now, we have excellent trade wind weather, so it's blowing the gas plume away from us. But if that changes, we might have to manage access. People that should avoid volcanic gases especially um, are people with respiratory or heart problems, young children, pregnant women, etc. Okay, so that could shift. In other words, the the breeze is sort of uh, pulling everything. You could see it, you know, moving away from us. But uh, how quickly could that change? It could change any time. You just have to keep an eye on the weather. The other things that you know people can control more when they're seeing an active volcano is really obeying all signs, stay out of closed areas, stay away from cliff edges, and especially in the dark, if you're coming to Hawaii Volcanoes, bring a flashlight because there are earth cracks here that are hidden. You definitely don't want to step in those. And I imagine you are expecting uh, a lot of visitors. We can see, uh, if you could see what we're seeing, that, you know, a crowd is kind of gathered around and uh, there's a lot of excitement right here. Uh, you're expecting a lot of people to come through here tonight, I imagine. Oh, we are. We've already seen some of our parking lots fill up and people have to go past them by and find another vantage point but this eruption right now is viewable from many different areas along the caldera rim kupinaipali here at ue kuhuna at the kilauea overlook etc so uh, if you come to visit the park please bring your patience and listen to rangers as they try to direct you to an area that is open and we are to the right if you're facing the facilities the restroom facility at ue kuhuna but uh, people have come up and asked well where can we see where can we see the the, the red you know that's what they want to see. Again, we're looking at the sm the uh, emissions. I almost said smoke, gas emissions uh, behind us. But uh, on the other side, you get a very different vantage point right here at Ue Kahuna. What does it look like? So right on the other side of the former Jagger Museum buildings, you can actually see some of the fountaining coming out of the fissures on the crater floor. The lava lake now is at 371 acres in size. For those of you who may have been here before 2018, we had a 10 acre lava lake back then. So this is just a massive lake of lava right now. The views are fantastic. Um, so try out a lot of different vantage points if you can get in. All right, there you have it. Jessica Varricane of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to send it back to you in the studio. For now, we're reporting live here at Volcanoes National Park. Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.